Ooh, that's a bold prediction. You're saying that the PSA 8 Star, you think it's going to be worth as much as a PSA 10 FLIR? By, by next year's national. Mark my word. Oh. <laughs> Year's National is brought to you by Midwest Cards, the official wax sponsor of Sports Card Investor. With an amazing selection of wax on their website, check them out at MidwestCards.com. Okay, so here we go. We've got PSA graded star cards. So these didn't even exist as of a couple months ago. There was no such thing. I think this 8 will be more rare than a PSA 10 FLIR. Uh, you don't have to agree with me. Be, be honest. No, I, that could be true. I mean, if there's only, no, I, so I, I think that that is probably true. I think it's gonna be hard to get good grades. This set had a lot of manufacturing issues. Very, very low budget operations. How many of these sets were made in total, do we know? The owner of the Star Company uh, said there were 3,000. So these cards in any grade are more rare than most modern stars in a, in a PSA 10 grade. Do you have a price in mind for the eight? Uh, so I was just over at the uh, the Golden Table. They, okay. They have one at auction right now. They think it's going to go for around 100. Do you mind if I? This is a big ask. Mm -hmm. I'm interested. Okay. Can I walk this around and meet back up with you in a couple hours? Yeah. Okay. Sounds great. I appreciate it. Okay. It's nice to meet you, Dave. Yeah, yeah, you too. I love your enthusiasm <laughs> for this car. We'll see. We'll see. But I love your enthusiasm yeah. for it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Hey guys, how you doing? What's your name? Nick. Nick. Ryan, nice to meet you guys. You guys want to get a photo? Yeah. Let's do it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Sure, for sure. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks, Enjoy the show. show. Yeah, appreciate it. Right this way. Come on, Ryan. Sorry. Down this, I'd add cash on top if you want to. Okay. Um, if you just want to trade them, I'm I'd be happy to trade them with you, just straight up. If you would like to do that, I'm happy to do it. So. If I were to trade all of this to you, you'd end up, I think, with a pretty good deal. So this is a, this is a little bit over $200 worth of cards. And you, for that, I think you'd end up with a pretty good deal on that. Yeah, I, I do. Would you want to do that? Yes. Awesome, let's do it. Let's get a deal done. There you go, look at that, cool. This is all I wanted to do. That That's this awesome. Show. Get a deal done. Here. Look at that. All right, I just got a trade done here with Ian on the show floor of the National. This was a lot of fun, man. High five. Yes. Let's go. Thank you. So you're offering the Josh Allen Immaculate you're offering the Devontae Smith, and you're offering the Christian Pulisic, and you want the Jordan Brooks one of one that I pulled with the loot box, and you want the Drew Lock Obsidian Color Blast, and you're offering me $75? All right, so you're definitely gonna make out a little bit ahead in this deal. Yeah, yeah. But I know you're a big Seattle fan. I love supporting kids getting into the hobby, so you know what, let's do it. I think that's fair, let's do it. I'm Absolutely. Happy we can get a deal done. Let's get that done. All right, so John, what you got here? Killing Mbappe, rookie Kaboom. We got a rock Kaboom. Now, have you attempted to grade this at all? I have not. One issue that could cause it from getting a, a 10 would be the issue on the back. There's just a slight little mark. What is that? Just a... I have no idea. What I was told was it almost, I'm not saying it is, but it looks like a Sharpie mark. So what were you looking at for this? Uh, so I saw a BGS 9 comp did right around 2120. Okay. So I was looking for 1850 on the raw copy. Okay. Yeah, and I, mean, I think that's got a pretty good shot at doing a BGS right. 9. Yeah. You do have the obvious surface issues right, on the back. Right, but that's just one subgrade, so they average them out. 1850 is your ask? Yeah. Would you do 1800? I'll split it at 1825. Split it at 1825, all right. All right, you know what? I like it. You got a deal. Let's Thank do you, it. Jeff. 1825 Thank cash. You. Let's do it. Let me grab my cash over here. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Okay. Awesome shoes. Where'd you get those? Oh, thanks, ma'am. My wife got these for me for a gift. They're custom made. You got Jordan. This one's, of course, Lakers here. Got a little LeBron there. And you've even got, check this out. You got the PSA label right there. Oh, there you go. That's Gem Mint 10. Gem Mint 10 right there, baby. Hey, guys, I'm here with Nat Turner, CEO of Collectors, the company that owns PSA. So another thing that PSA did recently that made some news was starting to accept the star Jordans for grading for the first time, right? And you came out 
and said that that is Michael Jordan's true rookie card. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this. Why do you yeah. feel that way? I mean, it's the first one. I mean, I, I'm a Beckett kid. I mean, I grew up with Beckett magazines. Okay. I remember it saying XRC. Yep. I can debate with Ken Golden about this probably all day long. <laughs> XRCs are true rookie cards to me. Okay. Yeah, it's not a nationally distributed product. It was licensed, you know, that's what I believe. Yeah, they may have sold it out of their garage, but you know, it's a true rookie card in my opinion. I think that's the beauty of cards though, is there can be debate. And, and opinions as right. to what you know is the true rookie as an example. But appreciate it, Nat. Yeah. Enjoy the national. Yeah, appreciate for it for sure. Too. I'm gonna go try to find Rick Probstein because through his consignment, he sells I know a ton of these Jordan Star cards. Of course, probably not many of the PSAs yet because they're so new. So these have been hot recently because PSA yeah. started grading them, right? Correct. Yeah. This is a PSA 8. Yeah. And the guy who's trying to sell it to me is trying to convince me that he thinks that this in a PSA 8 is going to be worth more than the 86 Fleer Jordan in a PSA 10 within 12 months. What do you say to this? No way. No way. Okay, so you, you don't think that's going to catch up, but you, you think this is worth 150000 So I, I equate the prices of a BGS 9 and a PSA 8 is being similar, and a BGS 9 is about a buck and a half. Okay, because he's offered to sell this to me for 100 Yeah. It might be a buy. Might be a buy at 100 Can I see it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's not a buy for you now, Rick. It's a buy for me. You could flip it, you could flip it to me. I could flip it to you. Yeah. Okay. So you would pay more than $100,000 for that card right now. I mean, you're serious about buying one? I am serious about buying one because I own, I own several of the 86 Fleers, but I don't own any of so the stars. So the, the pop count on the 9.5s is three. Okay, so there's only three star 9.5s in existence. There's three star 9.5s. Okay. All of them have issues. And so I don't none think, of them will get a 10? Not For sure none of them. So you don't think there will ever be a PSA 10 of the star? I will bet that. Okay. There will, that there will never be. Now, so the best 70, there will ever be is a 9, and there yeah. could be a few of them, and but not... And there's 70 or 71 um, uh, BGS 9s. Okay. So basically, I think once the market settles in on this, an 8 or an 8.5 will be highest graded on this card. Can I see some of the 9s? Yeah. Are they over here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if anything, I would say that this 8 slightly sharper than that 9. What were they before the PSA news? They were under 100,000. But then the PSA news is bolstered them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I appreciate the advice. But corner-wise, but corner it's better than my 9s. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank and you. And there's only 70 of them. Yeah. So, yeah. Where, where's the pop going to be? Yeah. This is Michael Jordan. Yeah. So, I like it. Before we go, we I team. got... I got one question I got to ask you guys. I'll take that. I need to get your opinion. A guy has offered to sell me this 84 star Michael Jordan PSA A card. What is your opinion on the star Michael Jordans? Is this an actual rookie? Is this? Have you heard of Michael Jordan? First question. Are you you know we've talked about. I asked you that same question. I'll is be this honest. A rookie Here's card? the thing. Same material, same printer. Done two years later, some of these things without the license. Right? The guy just kept doing it. What's the difference? I don't know. I know people disagree. It's counterfeit. It shouldn't have been done. I, I, who cares? And I think the issue is that the other Jordan is so ingrained in people's mind yeah. as like somewhere. most iconic art of all time. Exactly. So in I think opinion. that is that is where you'll see this go up in value. In my opinion, you'll never reach the same heights as the other clear. It's gonna be interesting to watch. Thanks for your opinion. I gotta make a decision today if I'm gonna buy this or not. So uh, I mean, just know if it's the wrong decision, it's your fault. If it was the right decision, we get a cut. I, I made a really smart decision. Okay. Just just we know that. Cut. We, we all heard that. Appreciate yeah, it, guys. Saying. So the guys offered me the card for $100,000, but I want to do a little bit of online research using market movers to see if that actually makes sense. Mr. Zach, up, need, I need your help, sir. All right, what are we doing? And we need to look this up in market movers. Can okay. we do this? Oh, look at this. You got the new, you got the new fancy market movers the, here up. Two point people, MMX, baby. This, people haven't seen this yet, no, Zach. Brand this new. Is, this Sneak is, peek. Okay, so this is the 1984 Star Jordan card. These haven't sold yet. Okay. No, no PSA 8s have sold yet, but okay. I want to look up some of the BGSs. Awesome. Because there's been more of those on the market. Cool. So. Let me let me show you how this works. So okay. you go over in the search, and we're going to start with 1984 Star. Oh, this is looking hot, man. This yeah. new interface is solid. So what grades do you want to look up? You yeah, think? so I need to look up. Uh, give me the BGS 8.5. Okay. Yeah, that might be the best one okay. to look up. Okay. Let me look at the BGS 7.5. Okay. Uh, so they've got the 8.5 there. Let me look at the, actually, let me look at like a BGS 9. Nine. Okay. Hasn't sold in a long time, but let me look at that. Okay. So we uh, select the Do we have the BGS 8? I don't know if there's a recent uh, sale of a BGS 8. I'm not sure if I see one. Let's oh, try it. Oh, okay. hasn't sold. Uh, yeah. No, that's yeah, not. It's been Any while. others of that one? Okay. Nope. Let's right. look up those three. So we got the three there, so we're okay. going to go ahead and hit chart cards. And so by default, it's gonna open up the 30 days here. So we're gonna 
Let's expand it out. Let me look at the last 180 okay. days of these three. So as you can see now, we can just roll over, hover, and it's gonna tell us each sale if we come all the way over here. This, this looks nice, man. You, you, good work on this, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, these new version of market I appreciate sick, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. All right, so what am I looking at here? So this, we got a $50,000 yep, sale, eight that's in an 8.5. Yep. So we can see here down here, the yeah. blue is gonna so be seven, our- What are the last nine sellers? Yeah, so, so for 160,000, the last nine did? Yep, yep. Wow. So, that's up quite a bit from where it was before, because you can see here sure, we're 113%. Sure. The last nine went for 160, and most of those nines are only gonna be a PSA eight. I don't know, I think 100,000 for eight's looking pretty solid. Looking really solid. Appreciate it, Zach. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Appreciate it, man. Hey, guys, this new version of Market Movers comes out in a month. But if you subscribe today for only $9.99, it's our new price. You will get upgraded next month to the new version for free. Subscribe right now, $9.99. Go to sportscardinvestor.com. Click on Market Movers in the main menu bar. It's the best thing going. How'd it go? Did you, Man, you did your uh, due diligence? I did my due diligence. I, I rendered a whole bunch of opinions. The opinions were a little bit split okay. on the card, okay. uh, but it was a lot of really good information. And overall, I think the 100,000 is a really fair price. I'm not gonna try to negotiate you on it. I think it's a good deal. I appreciate you being fair with me. I'm gonna accept the offer. Good man. Awesome. Good man, great Thank decision. Thank you, Dave. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I got the card. Of course, the most important part, I've now gotta give them the money. It's $100,000. We're gonna do this by wire transfer. As fun as it would be to count $100,000 out on the table right here, I think it'd be a little safer to do it by wire transfer. So let's do it that way. We're gonna get this going right now. Wire is official. $100,000 has gone to Dave. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. It's officially mine. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. dude. I appreciate this. This is great. First 84 star Jordan card. Check that out. Let us know in the comments what's going to be more valuable next year, 86 Fleer or 84 star Jordan. Either way, I'm doing all right. So appreciate it, man. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, thank you. Yep. What's up, Jake? How we doing? Good, man. How's Good the show been Jeff. for you guys? It's been a lot so far, yeah. I, I'm looking time. forward to pulling one of these guys Let's go. on Saturday. That's what I'm talking about. So what, what time are we doing that break? Saturday, 2 p.m., main stage over there in the Ripping Wax 2 p.m. Eastern, Pavilion. and it's it's free for anybody who wants it's to free. enter, right? Even people, they don't have to be at the national yeah. for people watching from home. One of the best parts of now, we're trying to bring the most iconic sports cards to people for okay. free. So the chance to bring home a Michael Jordan graded PSA slab for free in a giveaway. Pretty okay, cool. you guys have to be part of this. So we're gonna put a QR code up on the screen. You guys have to be part of this. Whatnot, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday. Scan that QR code right now to download the Whatnot app. And if you're on your mobile device, we'll put the link below. Click the link, download the Whatnot app. And then how do people get into this? They go to, yeah. they, they log into Whatnot 2 p.m. Eastern time Saturday. Yep. And they go to the Rip and Wax channel. Yep, it's a couple ways to win. So the main way to win is be in the stream Saturday, 2 p.m. on the Ripping Wax Whatnot account. We're giving away a bunch of stream, a bunch of packs through the app. You can also win some packs at our actual Whatnot booth here at the National. So some for everybody on the ground, but then if you're at home, you can still get in on it. Awesome, guys. So do that right now. Download the Whatnot app, use that link, and go to Ripping Wax, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday. Hopefully, I'll pull one of you guys a Jordan. Hey guys, until then, make sure you're subscribed. We got another video coming from the show floor tomorrow. Tons of content all week long. Please give us a like. We'll see you tomorrow with our next one. Take care.